What's going on guys, Slavey here. Welcome back to another Alpine Online video. Today we will go over a money making method which anyone can do. And the great thing about this method is that whether you are playing for 10 months, 10 days or just 10 hours, you will be making the same amount of profit regardless. When we look at most of the other money making methods in Albion Online, a lot of things come into play. When we talk about crafting, for example, your specs matter, in which the more specs you have, the more money you make. But also the specific items that you craft, which profits sometimes tend to be meta bound. And crafting, of course, takes time to level whilst you want the profit now. So I think this method, which I finally started using to save money, is one you can start using to make money. And the best thing is that you don't even have to leave town to make profit. This money making method fully comes down to others valuing their time more than they value their silver. And this is where you come into play and profit from the rich, the ignorant and the lazy. The method is very simple. You buy stuff, you enchant stuff and you sell stuff. That's it for this video and I'll see you next time. Jokes aside, you might have heard me mention this in one of my earlier videos. But honestly, I've done very minimal enchanting ever since myself, and I'm sure many of you don't enchant most of your stuff either, let alone doing it for profit if you can't even be bothered to give yourself a big discount when you go shopping. There are two ways to go about making money with enchanting. The quick yet less profitable way, and the most bang for your buck way. Both of these two ways have one thing in common, which is the process. So what is the process? You first need to find an item that you can make profit on. I've been playing a lot as a Camelon tank in Carleon lately, and for this purpose I've been using a 5.2 Camelon mace. After breaking and losing some of my maces, I finally got curious to what the price difference would be if I were to simply enchant my own weapon instead of directly buying it from the market. And the price difference is huge. This is the price of the cheapest 5.2 Camelon mace on the Carleon market right now. If we check the market history by clicking on this little arrow here, we can see the average trade price over the last 24 hours, 7 days and 4 weeks. Keep in mind the quality can also be changed from normal all the way to masterpiece, which all have their own market history. If you hover over the little dots, you can also see the quantity of sales for this specific item over a certain time period. The market history will provide you the necessary information on what items are typically going for and whether they're actually being bought or not. Now that we know the price of the cheapest 5.2 Camelon Mace, let's go over the process of enchanting it ourselves. You can start from two points, from a 5.0 Camelon Mace or a 5.1 Camelon Mace. Sometimes starting from 8.1 will make or save you more money, whilst other times starting from 8.0 will make or save you more. This depends on the market at that specific time. Since the Camelon Mace is a two-handed weapon, it will require 192 materials to be enchanted. From point 0 to point 1, we will need runes, and from point 1 to point 2, we will need souls. Noting down the price for the materials will tell us whether it's better to start from a point 0 or from a point 1. In this case, the cheaper option is to start from a point 0. So now we buy the cheapest tier 5 Camelon Mace, 192 runes and 192 souls. Now that we have all the necessary items, we exit the marketplace and go to the artifact foundry. Here we navigate to the enchant equipment tab and start enchanting. This is a free process and all it takes is just a tiny bit of time. And just by doing this, I just saved myself a lot of silver. And this is just one item, whereas I equip multiple items every single loadout. And so do you and all the other players in Albion Online. Many can't be bothered to go through this process themselves, which is why you can make money doing this. So I'll be keeping this Camelon Mace, and in fact I'm going to make myself a bunch more, but you clicked on this video to make money. So what is the next step in doing so? Simply go back to the market now and list the item as a sell order. Once it's sold, you will have your profit. Important to know is that sell orders have a setup fee and selling the items cost tax as well. 
and this is actually affected by premium so if you don't have premium your values might be different than the ones you see currently all in all it's important you also add the taxes you pay to your expenses to know exactly how much of a profit you ended up with the way i went about it just now was the quick way which doesn't net us the most profit possible so how do you make the most profit possible by enchanting this is where buy orders come into play you can simply set up buy orders for the items you need to go about enchanting to save even more money you will be saving silver on the runes the souls and even the camden maze itself setting up buy orders however does have a price to it so you need to account for that within your overall cost if you decide to work with them it is important to realize that just because you set up buy orders it doesn't mean they will go through especially if you are lowballing which is why once again the market history will help you give an idea of what's realistic and what's not by hovering over the lowest dots we can see what the cheapest price is where people sold the cannon for this will help us create a realistic offer for when we put up our buy orders ourselves now you basically know what the process is to make money with enchanting so what about some extra tips that might help you the first tip is that you can do this simultaneously in different towns. So if you find an item that has a good profit margin on it, it might be wise to expand your business to other towns as well. Tip 2 is that keeping an eye on the NDA balance changes might increase your future profit by a lot more. If you notice an item is about to get buffed and you expect people to use that item more often, you can start putting up buy orders now already so that you make even more profit once the update hits live. Tip 3 is that you should find a niche and stick to it. Making consistent profit on one or two items is much better than trying to make a bit of profit on a lot of different items. Because the more items you divide over, the more people you will compete against. Which will result in buy orders and sell orders not going through. Tip 4 is one I briefly mentioned but not fully, which is don't be too greedy. If you give a bit of a discount when putting sell orders and offer a fair price for your buy orders, your transactions will be much more smooth. This will prevent you from being stuck with items that you can't sell and will also prevent you from having to relist your buy and sell orders continuously. As for tip 5, dive into different tiers of the items you enchant. I just used the tier 5 Camelon Maze as an example, but who knows this might also work with tier 4, tier 6 or any of the other tiers. Enchanting is something that's always been a viable way of making money in Albion Online. At some point you might start earning so much silver you can't be bothered enchanting any longer yourself, which is when others will start profiting from you. It's pretty much a cycle that's always there, and one way or another, you are part of it. If you want more economy tips like this, check out the video that's linked below. Enchanting was only one of the 20 tips I share with you in that video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Good luck enchanting, and I'll see you next time.